Hello there. You already know who I am. Episode 7, Soprano Season 6, baby. Let's run it. This one is titled Johnny Cakes, baby. Johnny Cakes. I can't wait for my dad to open the box set and watch this show. He back in form. He back in form. He got it up. He got it up. Maron. Damn. You sure you're okay? The incision? Yo, he was out on the sidelines for a while, but he came back with a bang first game back. He performed. Lived up to the expectations. <laughs> Granite State. <laughs> Big up Breaking Bad. Well, it's supposed to be better than nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? After that nightmare, God, we are blessed, Tony. That's AJ and his drum set. AJ's practicing? That's a first. Unidentified black males. <laughs> you amigos with the baggy pants. Hope you kept them away from the show. Huh? Oh, Jesus. They're musicians, all right? They saw an ad for the drums. You're selling your drums? Well, I need cash. I don't play them anymore. Those oh. Those were a gift from your father. Yeah, I don't want to sell them. If you guys hadn't made me get such a crappy job, I wouldn't have to. Oh, this is our fault. Well, I'm wasting my time at Blockbuster. Why don't you get off your ass and find another job? What about community college? You said you were going to go back to school. Okay, for the hundredth time, I can't register until second semester. Oh! I mean, Jesus Christ! Hey, 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 don't I name drop Jesus, man. Deserve some kind of life. Leave the man alone. He's building up the Rico case against all of these guys for when they get to heaven or when they get to Judgment Day. He don't have time for you, AJ, at the moment. Actually, he's available anytime, actually. That's the whole point, all right? He's the truth. But AJ, seek him out, then. Is that the guy that works at the dino? Chef by day, firefighter at night. Now I'm just waiting for the Green Goblin to show up. This is Sam Raimi Spider-Man 1 vibes. So, Uncle June, what are we going to do about him? Woo! He's incarcerated for the rest of his unnatural life. So fuck him. He's a walking corpse. Yeah, but Dad... Uh... What he did to you. Certainly nothing for you to worry about. <laughs> Patsy just doing his collections, man. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> no dramas at the moment. Manager Dare. Welcome to the neighborhood. You really should have some round the clock security here. Isn't that what the police are for? They do their best, but they got their hands full. Your weekly dues to us will give you all the supplemental safety net you'll ever need. I can't authorize <laughs> anything like that. It'd have to go through corporate in Seattle. We merchants prefer to deal on a personal, one-on-one -on -one basis. I don't have any discretionary funds. It's got to go through corporate. Well, how do you think corporate would feel if, for the sake of argument, someone threw a brick through your window? They've got like 10,000 stores in North America. I don't think they fill anything. <laughs> what if, God forbid, it wasn't just vandalism? What if an employee... Even the managers say it was assaulted. A man cannot make an honest living here. Look, every last fucking coffee bean is in the computer and has to be accounted for. If the numbers don't add up, I'll be gone and somebody else will be here. It's over for the little guy. No! No! Yes. Good morning. How's your book coming? That transition, man, from New Hampshire to New Jersey, damn, on the streets. Jason Masucci was down in Tampa visiting his mother. He thought he saw a video on a Jenny Craig. Turned out to be some other fat piece of shit. If that fag ever does come back, you should have Carlo do it. Be good with all the crews. Excuse me? You all had to trot. Nah, 
I got enough complications in my life. Feds up my <laughs> ass. For business reasons, okay, but for political correctness? Oh, check it out. I could do that, no problem. Now wait here, I'll get your Viagra. <laughs> Let me tell you something, for two months after the shooting, as far as Schnatch was concerned, didn't even have a heart on when I woke up in the morning. Like so. <laughs> oh, didn't fuck with the plumbing, though. <laughs> oh, thank God. It's just the effects of the physical trauma. Doc said it was part of the healing process. I must be healed now because I got a baguette in my pants now, 24 7. <laughs> <laughs> Affirmation of life. Hey, she's coming this way. Cannoli? No, thank you. You own the building at 217 Franklin, right around the corner, currently occupied by Caputo Life Poultry. I represent the Jamba Juice Company. They're interested in purchasing the property. Jamba Juice? Want to put a store in around here? Well, you must have noticed the area's on an upswing. You know the old glove factory? Across the park, over by the cathedral? Beautiful renovation. I just bought a loft there myself. A person like yourself's a wonderful addition to the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> the Riz, the Riz! Jamba Juice is willing to pay $175 a square foot. Public records show the building at 1,800 square feet. So that makes a purchase price of three hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. Not too bad. Buy eggs from Caputo. Frankly, I'm not wild about the smell in there. Let me tell you, his eggs taste ten times better than any of the ones you get in the supermarket. Only I didn't see myself making Salisbury steak for the next thirty years, so I left home at seventeen. Uh, rebellious. Just a low tolerance for boredom. So, interested? Not interested. I'm interested. No. But as far as the property is concerned. 175 a square foot's a little low. And, um, I don't want to sell out from under the guy. Keep it business, Tony. Keep it business. Morning, Vince. You usual? Been dreaming of those Johnny Cakes. <laughs> Johnny Cakes. I saw you at the fire last night. You got bowls, my friend. You don't get paid for that, right? We're all volunteers. Back where I come from, you join the fire department to steal shit from people's bedrooms. <laughs> How's the book coming? It's fucking slow today. Writer's block, huh? Let's just say I like eating a lot more than writing. <laughs> you don't help any. Everything you make, fucking delicious. You know, I saw Graziano fight Sugar Ray in 1952. I took a train to Chicago. Maybe you should interview me. <laughs> I may I will. I thought you were writing a book about Rocky Marcia. Well, you can't talk about one without the other. Marciano. Now that was a tragic death. Now what was the year he fought Joe Lewis at forty uh, nine? <laughs> yes. Pete, I really want to Actually, tell this guy to shut the I F think up. It was fifty one. <laughs> when you told me you were writing a book, I looked him up on the internet. I don't know where my fucking head is today. <laughs> Maybe you're working too hard. Yeah. Hey, Mrs. Conti, come on, star. How's the hip? Hey, Andy. Oh, I need your help. <laughs> what? Those nigger fucking horse, they play that music so loud. Now, that's not nice. And those are Puerto Ricans, Mrs. Conti. <laughs> I ask them nice to turn it down. They tell me to go fuck myself. All right, I'll see what I can do. Ah, oh, thanks. Hey, I'm Junior. Tell him I said hello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken or the egg? You want to weigh in? That same <laughs> stupid joke, huh? <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> so business. Mets are Mets. Believe it or not, better than them. Glad to hear it. That's not good. I have to raise your rent. Uh, tell me like a gallina, para la señora soprano. See? When you hold your knife with your blade facing your opponent, you got a lot better control. Plus, you protect the floor. Nah, nah. If you got the tip pointing at him, you get more distance. You could swipe his abdomen and fuck him. <laughs> See, I'm stupid. I mean, look how your range of motion is limited. It's so easy for him to step back, grab your fucking arm, take your knife. <laughs> Someone please check us out. Hey, I never thought we'd see the inside of the blockbuster, but I'm so happy at the moment. Yo, or none. Sure, what time? I'm cool. No problem. I can cover tonight. I'm totally fucking minted. Later. Yeah? I'm at work, what do you think? That's so disrespectful to the mail? customer. Fuck. And the swearing! Gone. They keep going with it. Fuck. Would you mind? Yeah, I better call you back. 
I was her nine. Kid spends every night in some fucking club in New York. Sleeps till noon. Puts in a couple hours at Blockbuster. And that's it. And since my injury, like I told you, I've been more, you know, accepting. Be grateful for what you got. <laughs> well, maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should be on the kid. Yes, you should be on the kid. My dad? But... Would have kicked my lazy ass out of the house. Really? It's the chopping off of the guy's finger, right? I never should have told you, because that's all you fixate on with him. Can you empathize with AJ at that age? Yeah, I had some problems at school, but I didn't vegetate. What? These are different times. Young people today are bombarded with so much information, so much input of every kind. Consequently, true adulthood is delayed. Thank you. Sociologists say that 26 is, in fact, the new 21. And the new 26 is what? I'm 46, so that means I'm, what, 35? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you think like you're 18 me. sometimes. It's ridiculous to let himself disintegrate like this. Why don't you just admit he's a gangster? He was gunned down, and you're into it on a tabloid. <laughs> devoted quite a chunk of last visit to him. I'm responding to that. Nothing's changed, okay? He refuses to really engage on this trauma the uncle caused, and I think it's just a matter of time before he totally decompensates. Has he cried or reported crying? At all about this man, Buster? Junior, no. This Omerta concept comes from a pre therapeutic culture. This is an Omerta. Why it's doesn't Tony have a sit down with Elliot and see how that works out? How old are you? 20. Shut up. 15. What? How old are you? 18. Yeah, yeah, you could. Bro, she 15. Oh, yeah. All right. That's the tab. That's the tab. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yeah, it's cool. Big shock value there. Daddy's money ain't gonna say. Oh, yeah. Damn, he has a pretty fair lump of change right there. Mm, mm, mm. Seeing a younger oh, Tony no. here. Hmm, hmm. Vito. Do we know where he's at? Well, that really doesn't concern you. How's John? I don't know. Fine, through his veil of tears. <laughs> We're still bringing that up. <laughs> but seriously, Vito, what's being done about him? Well, like I just said, it's none of your fucking business because he works for me, not you. He's married to my cousin. He dishonored me personally. What do you want me to do? Put out an APB on a guy because he takes it up the ass? Huh? It's a victimless crime. <laughs> Marie is a victim. Her children are victims. They've done nothing. And they're forced to live with the shame and humiliation. He's going to be pressured into be doing frank. something. In your father's day, we wouldn't be having this conversation. A Fenoik and his crew, he knew how to handle that. I sympathize with Marie and the children, okay? But don't you fucking tell me what to do. You're only acting, boss. I Ooh. swallowed my pride when your murdering fuck of a cousin killed my brother. Don't think I'm gonna do it twice. Philip, let's not make a beef where there isn't one. Fundamentally, we are in agreement on this issue. But I'll handle it. You know, I saw you on TV when your grandfather shot your dad. And now we're like friends. That's so weird. Right. So, like, what's gonna happen to him? Your grandfather, I mean. Well, he's my great uncle. So isn't your dad gonna do something? You know, be a martel. Yo, yo. We don't talk about that with outsiders. <laughs> well, I'll probably have to do something. Really? This brother. This brother. You probably left it in the car, Thad. No, it was on the bedside table. I was charging it. You're always losing something. Last week it was the sunglasses. <laughs> He left them on the counter at the TCBY. Yeah, but what'd you lose? Cell phone. 
I didn't lose it. I was charging the video deal. collecting. Hey, what I do? Try to retrace my steps. <laughs> Vito collecting stuff. <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's me. Where are you? Who's Thad McComb? Some guy. Oh my god, Vito. Not that. I'm just borrowing his phone. It's a little more complicated than that. Please, Phil said it'll be all right. We could get you help. We could get you psychiatric help. Phil? I trust him least of all. How can you say that? His family. <laughs> he loves you. Not anymore. Believe me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm reading online. There are these church groups. They could cure you of this. Marie. Well, what are you going to do? Never come home? I'm working on it. In the meantime, you're going to need some cash. I need you, Vito. I need my husband. Listen to me. In the den, behind the elliptical trainer, the baseboard comes off. There's 30K in there. Everybody got that emergency oh, money. <laughs> you would like it here. Tell me where. I'll bring the kids where we locate. I gotta go. Don't you want to talk to Franny a little bit? Yeah, okay. Put them on. Vito! Your father's on the phone. He wants to talk to you. Hi, Dad. Hey there, Chip. <laughs> You've been good? You've been behaving? Yeah, you know. Dad? I gotta go. You, you take care of your mother, okay? They really, they really pulling the strings on Vito for us, man. For the viewer. Come on, baby, just party with me. Let's get it cooking, fun. Ah, Mary J. Blige! Can't go wrong, but copyright can go wrong. Hey. Good news. How did you know to find me here? I'm a real estate agent. Oh. <laughs> That's the excuse. <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? Uh, sure. Why don't you bang Carmella? She's a real estate agent and your wife. Or qualified real estate oh. agent. Listen, why don't uh, me and you go get some dinner? I have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I have a wife. Married. <laughs> uh, we're talking business. You just said you don't want to sell what's there to discuss. Truth is, very attractive. This ain't gonna work out, Tony. Maybe you read in the papers that I got shot. Well, Juliana. She got a ring on it. Made me appreciate life. It's short, it can end at any time. And if you got the chance to do something that might make you happy. But there's limits to the happiness. You no, know, like when you left Binghamton. If they cut to, if it cuts to them kissing, I'm jumping out of my seat. Like, come on, Juliana, Juliana, please. You're very persuasive. And in the past, I might have jumped. Thank you. Like I said, I'm engaged. Well, things are going well. And I think for once in my life, I will exercise a little self-control. Thank you. You didn't even have to. You didn't have to say it that way. I'm engaged. Khalas. Thanks for the drink. Arrivederci. He's a very funny guy. Great sense of humor. <laughs> Period, thanks, thanks for this. Thanks. 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 <laughs> hey, you know, guys, we got to get serious about the state muster next month. Last year, Hinsdale whipped our butt in that ladder carry. Is that a deuce? Is there some ten sexual Bradley. tension between these two? Crumbed out the forks. Nice. You ride? I'm glad you decided to write your book in our little town. Okay. What the fuck you doing? I... What are you, some kind of fag? Guess I made a mistake. You sure as fuck did. Listen, Closet Queen, you can't handle it. Don't send out the signals. <laughs> Both of them are Closet Queens, man. Both of them are married men with kids. Fighter, huh? Asshole. You gotta pull out the piece. Oh, okay. Wow. That's salami. 40% less fat and sodium. <laughs> you 
always looking out for me. I'm very lucky to have you. Mm. And don't you forget it. Have you talked to that um, guy at the... You put shop it. <laughs> you know what time it is? Huh? Now these late nights are getting to be a real habit with you, AJ. Don't you have to work today? Look, I gotta talk to you guys. I need new clothes. All right, everything I have is so old. You got money? Just sold your drums. And I need that money for living expenses. What do you think clothes are? Bro. I mean, nice clothes. I got acting like he pays money. rent. So you can go out to the clubs with... Uh, and bills. Fernando. That kid is a creep. Or non. And he's not a creep, he's my friend. And I don't talk about your friends that way. And we're not giving you any more money. Frankly, AJ, I am a little concerned. The clubs, sleeping late, your lack of interest in anything productive. Hey, I'm interested in productive stuff. I just not stuff you care about. I could run one of those clubs. What? Look, I'm not just part Event of it. planning. I'm learning. I see what works, what doesn't. Right, I could have a great club and really successful. And if you guys care so much about my future, then why don't you stake me? In a club? Get the hell out of here. Wait, you crazy a horse. a lot of clubs in New York. And you know people, you could help me. And it's not like you can't afford to set me up. I mean, you have all the money in the world. This is ridiculous. Manage a club, AJ? You've never even been a busboy. If you want to get back into event planning, you should think about the Culinary Institute in Poughkeepsie. Culinary Institute. Why do you keep talking about event planning? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I'm serious. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get your job at Beansies and you can learn the business from the ground up. That's a fucking pizza parlor, right? Not a club. It's the service industry. Why are we having this discussion? Go back to college next semester. See, this is just what I mean. And you guys never give me any support in anything I want to do. AJ! Oh! God damn him. Fucking demoralized. I'm actually interested to see, like... How old is AJ at the moment? Is he, like, 18? Is he 18 this season? Isn't clubbing in America or drinking in America 21? Oh, I'm guessing clubbing is 8. Is clubbing 18 and drinking is 21? Because clubbing and drinking in Australia is 18. But, like, I'm, I'm a bit confused. I feel like the parents, um, of, all right, if you want to run a club and stuff like that, it's not just going to be handed to you. I like that Tony is teaching him that. It's nothing's going to be handed to you in life. You got to work your way up to it. He's not just going to give him the crazy horse or something along the lines like that, which is, I think, vacant at the moment. Or I think Chris is running it, whatever. But, like, I... AJ, in my opinion, is a complete F up across the entire board. I feel like anything that has had some sort of like, um, right, like anything that sort of had a glimpse of hope for him, you know, the football, the drums, things like that, it's all, you know, been gone. It's gone. It's been not taken away, but he's given it up. Anything that sort of gave him a little bit of hope that he was good at or something that he could, you know, avoid the lifestyle he's currently going on, um, it's gone. It's gone. And I feel like the parents need to hone it down into him and get him the help he needs because this guy needs to learn the hard way and he's not because he continues to have F-ups upon F-ups upon F-ups hanging around the wrong crowd. They didn't even discuss their, do you know what goes into running a club? Do you know what you've got to deal with? The sh the fights, the drugs, the women. Like, there's so much that goes into running a club that I feel like he's overlooking and I think he thinks it's going to be an easy role. Oh, it's just... Oh, like, he just frustrates me. He's like his outlook and stuff like that. But at the same time, Carmella and Tony frustrate me for the way they sort of deal with the situation too. Maybe we should get him a club. I'll give him some responsibility. Maybe he'll rise to the occasion. Are you insane? He's not even legal drinking. Okay, thank you, thank you. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> arguing with AJ is no kind of aphrodisiac. I'll tell you that. Bring AJ in here. That'd be crazy. Just when I was beginning to feel physically good again. Like my old self. <laughs> I I see. But honestly, no one can blame a man for seeking an extracurricular outlet in a situation like this. Now, don't give me that look. You're always telling me that I'm projecting. You're projecting. So you're not seeking an extracurricular outlet? No. I was just being theoretical. He did. But she rejected. What Carmella did for me when I was hurt. The way she took care of me. Nursed me back to health. You think I would have fucking betrayed that? Is it possible on some level you blame her for AJ's problems? Look, I don't know. No. Carmella's a good mother. Cap. 
to the best. Could you just give me some practical advice for once? Tell me what the fuck to do about my son. <laughs> yeah. I think it's entirely appropriate for you and Carmela to tell AJ you have certain expectations of him, particularly since he's living in your home. The most important thing is that you and Carmela are in agreement on the issues, that you don't undercut each other or act at cross purposes. <laughs> Here, so you can buy a suit to look nice for job or college interviews. This is not for fun. This is not to be used for any kind of personal entertainment. Why don't you go with him and get the suit? Thanks. <laughs> You're gonna use that for the tab at the bar, at the club. Or Coke, or Coke. They're looking for investors. Maybe we can get you a prospectus, huh? Well, absolutely. Uh, for your dad. You can ask him to look at it. Telling you that last name carries so much hey, weight. Wake me up tomorrow, okay? Ten o'clock. We were just up in Bradford. Ten o'clock is so late. A long trust Already. Right. If you're interested in covered bridges, you need to get over to Swansea. The alarm yourself. You get your ass up. There, including a queen post. I woke you up two hours ago, like you asked me. Now get up. Midday. Really. The man's a lost cause. He needs so much help, man. It, it is four o'clock in the afternoon. You are not even dressed. I got the impression you had something important to do. That's a Rambo knife. Uncle June? Hey, oh, brother. no. How come I don't get no mail? Maybe you need to write some letters. Start a correspondence. And he was talking about the knifing techniques before in the episode of the Blockbuster watching the film. Your uncle is having dinner, but you can see him now. Warren will take you in. Wait for me, please. Oh, he's sweating. He's sweating. <laughs> Obviously, he's not going to do it. Unless I'm completely wrong. He going to drop the ball. It's quite a you have a visitor. What? Anthony! My nephew. <laughs> Take me home. I want to go home. He didn't drop the ball, he dropped the knife. Anthony Soprano? Yeah, I just talked to Assemblyman Zellman. Get him out of here. <laughs> Assemblyman. <laughs> If he still has this I don't give a shit attitude after a situation like this and is trying to you know justify his actions my stomach hurts mother stupid fucking moron do you realize what could have happened to you if we didn't have connections some cop goes by the book and they charge you with attempted murder do you hear me attempted murder then what then what you're so serving time you. You're just gonna let him fucking get away with it? I told you that's my business, not yours. And what did you do? Nothing. Zero, a big fucking jerk off. Fuck you! Oh, you're gonna break your fucking neck. You're lucky you're still in police territory here. Stop crying. Stop crying. I guess your heart was in the right place, AJ. But it's wrong. Come on. What? It's not in your nature. You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. You're a nice guy. And that's a good thing, for Christ's sakes. Bullshit. I, 
I mean it. You're a good guy, and I'm very grateful. Well, you're a fucking hypocrite. Like, right, cause every time we watch Godfather, when Michael Corleone shoots those guys in the restaurant, those assholes who tried to kill his dad, you sit there with your fucking bowl of ice cream, and you say it's your favorite scene of all time. You gotta grow up. You're not a kid anymore. You hear me? You, you, you gotta grow up. <laughs> Get the car. That was one of the best interactions in the series. So good. First of all, your mother does not find out about this. Melfi was talking about them being on the same playing field and being in agreement of the issues. She needs to find out about it. Yes? I know you don't want to sell, but I thought you should know. Jomju's up there offered a 275 a square foot. Ooh! 494,000. You're kidding me. Plus, they'll let you carry the note at 7.5%. Any interest? Sold. Excellent. What? Why don't you come by my office tonight and sign the papers? Look, uh, how about your apartment instead? Good idea. Want me to give you the address? Well, I remember the glove factory. You're engaged! See you around 9 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you then. Do you know what you just did, Juliana? Do you know what you just did, Juliana? Everyone in this show is fucked up. Honestly. Everyone. Sometimes you tell a lie so long, you don't know when to stop. You don't know when it's safe. Again, the parallels with Tony and Vito this episode as well. Um, Tony pursuing an engaged woman and Vito pursuing a married man too. <laughs> French blue here. I just signed it. Oh, nice. Are you gonna talk to the guy at the building department? Because I feel like that's gonna. Really, very nice. Where are you going? I got a uh, real estate thing. God, my handsome man. You put up with so much, and we had to highlight the big rock again. Hey, she. She stood by you, man, when you were shot. You cannot do this, Tony. Now you have to be the one to exercise some self-restraint when you go over there. Make it purely business. Please. 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 I can't get used to this tour. What? They're not actually kissing, are they? I wonder if that was like the actors. They're not actually gay. They're straight. And that was like a clever technique so to sort of hide what they're doing. Armenian asshole. Anyway, I was thinking maybe you could talk to your dad who could send someone to lean oh, on the right. Get him to give me my money back. They think he's in with his dad like that. He he doesn't even know about his dad's. You're gonna have another panic attack. When there's so much pressure put on him, he tends to have these panic attacks. In the trade, this is called the Ben Franklin close. Placing the pen on the line you want someone to sign. Theoretically, it makes it harder for them to... Has he spoken to the owner of the place? I'll have to show you my collection sometime. The Franklin Mint. You're not serious. What do you mean? Okay, the contract. <clears throat> Sign here. Have a look at the ring, Tony. Mm -hmm. She's wearing the ring. Here. She's getting that fat commission, too. I notice. No deed of trust. Is is yeah. Juliana wearing a similar silk shirt to the one Melfi was at the beginning of the episode? Two episode uh two girls who Tony really wants and is attracted to. Um and he talks about his desires for Melfi. Obviously, we see when he really wants her and stuff like that. Um and Juliana the same thing. 
disclosures here. Just a long signing. Read the fine print. There's some heavy breathing here. There. Gotta take this up with the lawyers, man. Phase one. The tension is there. The tension is there. No. Sign and walk away. Oh, she leaning in. She leaning in. You're engaged! Shaking my head, man. Shaking my head. You're engaged and you're married. Oh my god. That's a violation for Carmela as well. In the shirt she just ironed. Self-restraint, please. Self-restraint. Self-restraint. It's too late, yeah. It's too late to ask for that, yeah, is it? Bro, your wifey was just... Stop. Thank you! Stop. Okay. You still cheated. Again. You remembered Carmela butting it up. Uh, buttoning it up. Am I done? Done? Yeah, shining. Am I done? Uh, yeah. I gotta go. Maybe this is a wake up call for you too, Juliana. You're an engaged woman. Shit. They probably think you just passed out drunk. Hey. Hey man, you alright? Uh, my heart. It's beating so fast. Did you take anything? Cocaine? Amphetamines? No. Has anything like this ever happened to you before? Do you have a history of panic attacks? Hi, how'd it go? What does it take to get some fucking smoked turkey in this house, huh? What? I bust my ass all day long. I come home, I want a little smoked turkey. Is that too fucking much to ask? What the fuck is your problem? Everything but fucking turkey in here. You hear? Goddamn juice place moving in here. What juice? Juice. <laughs> juice. Jamba juice. juice. <laughs> Your boss went and sold the building. He sold the building? I got a kid in college. Where are my fucking eggs? <laughs> what the fuck is happening to this neighborhood? I feel like that's one of the next poor decisions Tony has made this season is selling that building, you know, changing the culture and uh, her heritage of the neighborhood itself um, and not looking out for that, not looking out for those people because those people you don't look out for and keep in check, they might turn on you. That's that's Patsy might think ill of Tony there as well. And you didn't even consult the owner of the chicken shop like you just went and sold it like that. And it was a little too late once he signed everything because of the thing with Juliana. Like, oh man. Thinking with his dick again. Just thought I could make a quick money scheme. You got enough money, man. Hey. Ugh. These decisions are going to come back to haunt Tony. And you might think they're only little decisions, but they're going to come back to haunt Tony, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, I cannot wait to see it continue to unfold this season. This season. Like I said, it's got that, you know, buffer of being 20 plus episodes. So these episodes where you spend more time with AJ, you spend more time with Artie, you spend more time with Vito. Um, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. And I'm allowing it. Um, I'm so, I kind of, I'm not like I'm allowing it, but like I'm happy with it um, because of that 20 episode um, buffer. If it was only 13 episodes and this was episode eight, like we just watched, I'd be a little bit worried in terms of like where they're going with this season. But I feel like they're setting things up. They're planting the seeds 
for Vito. They're planting the seeds for AJ and, you know, a greater story arc with him um, later down the line with who he's getting involved with as well. And, you know, um, I guess questioning that soprano name you know getting into what his dad really does and what he's capable of um so yeah it's going to be interesting to see it unfold as the season continues on i hope you guys are enjoying these reactions as much as i'm loving this fantastic show it's been your boy Lee moses take care god bless peace